What's his name? <laughs> Nathaniel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Who the fuck is that guy? Only joking. <laughs> Fighting the UFC, the whole journey, it was, it was amazing, <clears throat> you know, uh, it has its ups and downs like life, like everything, you know, um, and we learn from it, we ride the wave and learn from it, you know, but um, a, a part of me felt like I wasn't ready, um, especially for some of the opponents <laughs> they, they gave me, you know, I, I rose to the occasion on, on, on some of them, but uh, on others, um, I just couldn't, uh, and that's when I, I really felt fear, you know, and really had to try to overcome fear, and that's when I started learning about fear itself, and how to control it, and how to, and why it manifests within you, you know. Um, what else? Yeah. So it had these ups and downs. Um, of course, uh, I'm fighting again, so uh, the aim is to get back to the UFC uh, eventually, you know, because uh, now I feel ready, you know, uh, I am ready. I was in Thailand, um, I just lost to Paddy Hulahan, respect Paddy, um, and I was, I was like, damn, you know, I, I, I need another win because I just lost to Alcantara, the fight before, I got knocked out in that fight. And um, I was like, damn. I was, I was back in Thailand after that fight, after the Paddy fight, straight away training. And uh, Sean Shelby couldn't get hold of me. So he got hold of my wife and he told my wife, he, he was trying to get hold of me, but he couldn't. So I got hold of my wife and my wife phoned me up and she, she told me uh, I got the pink slip. So I was, I was a bit gutted, you know, and my, kind of my whole world turned upside down. Because, like, for a fighter, UFC is everything, I think, for, for, for me anyway, you know, it was, it was, it was everything. And um, my whole life kind of turned upside down, went into deeper depression kind of thing, you know, just, like, real, real bad. But then you kind of come through it and you realise, you know, UFC is only... A little part of my life you know there's so much more to 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 this but um yeah I started fighting again took I took a fight you know in Russia just to because just because I was training for another fight so I, was, I, I might as well take a fight so I took a fight um, but my heart wasn't really in it you know you, that I got to a point in the fight where you, you, you say to yourself, okay, you've got to dig in deep now, you've got to dig in deep. <laughs> and another part of me says, what's the point, you know, just, just get through the fight, you, you're not hurt, you're not, you know what I mean, just, just see the fight out. So it was an ideal, you know, to take that fight under the circumstances. But, um, but now I've got the fire back in my belly. I took a whole year off after that fight, it's been a whole year now, you know. Um, uh, since I last fought, so um, yeah, I, I've, I've got that fire back. I feel good. I feel ready. I I feel ready for the UFC now. You know, so I'm gonna make my way back. Hopefully. Well, when I announced that I was fight, fighting again, I had emails. I had messages on Facebook. People contacting me, like from organisations, saying, "Would you like to fight in this organisation and that organisation?" You know, and. I did have a pick, pick of the litter, you know, I was like, mm, which one, which one? But I think Cage Warriors, for me, is, is like uh, probably the biggest stepping stone to the UFC, maybe. Um, yeah, that's, 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 hey, plus it's a, it's, a, it's a good organization, you know, it's, it's, um, it's got a lot of good guys from there 
that's that's um, gone into the UFC recently as well. So I thought, you know, a couple of fights on here. Sean Shelby, I'll be back, you know. On the 18th of February, um, I'll be fighting Nathaniel Wood. He's an upcoming prospect in uh, the UK MMA scene. So I hear. <laughs> I don't know none. Oh, I'm joking. But um, yeah, I'll be fighting him. He's a real good guy. Um, I think his last fight was against Alan Philpot. I think. Don't hold me to that, but he lost. But um, yeah, it should be a good fight. Good fight for me to come back into, you know, and um, express myself, show my skills. Uh, I don't think Nathaniel's anything like me. <laughs> you know, um, my timing's different. Uh, I'm, I'm slicker than him, you know. I'm smoother. Um, I hit on the half beat. Uh, you know, I offset rhythm. I don't think he understands any of these things. Um, but don't get me wrong, he's good. He's a good fighter, you know. He, he, he fights, he comes to fight. Like you say, he, he wants to, um, he strikes first, you know. But and that's not necessarily a good thing, you know. Uh, can he fight going backwards? Uh, can, he, can he fight moving in all directions? Uh, I haven't seen that from him. Um, his flaws, you can, <laughs> like I just said, can he do those things? Um, I seen I seen Phil Pot just destroy him in all areas really, and Phil Pot is all right, <laughs> you know. But I don't think he's 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 great.